Good morning. Welcome to morning meditation today. We're looking at Psalms 113. Psalms 113. The Bible says, Praise ye the Lord. Praise, O ye servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord from this time forth and forevermore. From the rising of the sun unto the going down of the same, the Lord's name is to be praised. And we'll, we'll, we'll finish the chapter here shortly, but we see the first first thing that we see is a call to praise. And every single one of us, uh, we're called to praise the Lord. And it's repeated there several times. All ye servants of the Lord, praise the Lord. And then we have some specifics. Verse 2 and 3, it says, Blessed is the name of the Lord from this time forevermore. And so it's an ongoing thing. Uh, all of eternity, uh, God's name is blessed. And if God is going to be praised and blessed for all of eternity, we should be a part of that. We should be praising Him uh, from the rising of the sun to the going down of the same all day long. You know, the first thing in the morning, the beginning of the day to the end of our night, uh, we should be praising the Lord, is what the Bible says. Uh, he deserves it that long. And uh, none of us quite put it in. Even on our best days, we don't praise God like we should. Uh, he should be praised every day from the rising of the sun until the going down. He should be praised. He's worthy of that. And the Bible makes it clear. And then just a, a couple more things here for us to meditate on, though, as we praise the Lord. And we get a couple thoughts here in Psalms 113. I look at verse 4. It says, The Lord is high above all nations, and His glory is above the heavens. And so the Lord is, a, you know, His glory is beyond any any earthly thing, any a grandeur of uh, the, the greatest nations and rulers on this world. The Bible says He's He's above that. Our God is above that. And it also says His glory is above the heavens. Uh, even the, the most glorious things of the skies and the things outside the, the reach of our world and our earth, uh, you know, both physical out there in the universe and even, uh, you know, thinking spiritually and eternally into heavenly things. The Bible says God's glory rises even above anything like that that we can imagine. Uh, he's worthy of our praise. His glory is above that. Verse 5, uh, who is like unto the Lord our God, uh, who dwelleth on high, uh, who humbleth himself to behold the things that are in heaven and in the earth. And again, just talking about the the greatness, the grandeur of our God, and how great He is, and, and you know what a humbling thought it is uh, when, when we see how great our God is, how glorious He is in comparison to uh, the best of things we can see around us. They're humbled by comparison, and that He's worthy to be praised. Uh, verse 7, He raiseth up the poor out of the dust, and He lifteth the needy out of the dunghill, that He may set him with princes, even with the princes of his people. And there we see again, you know, even the those in our world that have anything, you know, any status we can have, whether you're rich or you're poor, the Bible again says, you know, our God, he is the doer of that. A God can take the poor and make them rich. God can take the most needy person out of the worst circumstances and situations of their life and, and make them worthy or put them in a place of value. And here comparing them to princes and rulers and royalty, and, uh, you know, all of that is nothing to God. He can take anyone and make them what He wants them to be. Uh, he can uh, raise up kings and kingdoms, and He can uh, abase and set down. And that is the God that we serve. And, you know, we ought to thank and praise Him today for the, the circumstances that we live in. And I, I know none of our circumstances are, are probably going perfectly today or have gone perfectly throughout our life. Uh, but praise God that we have a God that, that lifts up the poor, uh, that lifts up the needy, and, and make something of our life. And not, and not always something physical here that we can glory in. But we have a, a, an eternal God that's worthy of our praise. And that we can glory in Him. Look at verse 9 and we'll be done. He maketh the barren woman to keep house and to be a joyful mother of children. Praise ye the Lord. And then talking about a, you know, the most destitute situation or, or lifestyle or uh, position that is usually symbolized in the Bible is that of a, a barren mother. You know, a, a mother that was created with a, a purpose and a joy from having children, and yet yeah, she's barren. And the Bible says, you know, our God delights to to take a, a barren situation or a hopeless situation and to put meaning there, to put joy there, and to give purpose there. And that's the God that we serve, and He's worthy of our glory, whether or not, by the way, we, we always see how He's blessed us, and whether or not we're focusing on it like we should, He still deserves that glory. His name is worthy to be praised from the rising of the sun and from the going down of the same. And uh, let's take at least today and at least this week and let's praise Him like we should. Let's work on that. Uh, all of us ought to be glorifying and praising God with our mouth 
and with our lives, uh, from the rising of the sun to the going down thereof, and uh, what a blessed, glorious God we serve. Uh, thank you for joining us this morning. Have a great rest of the day.